Hey, Nevada Department of Wildlife here, here to make you aware of two important features on your account that you need to keep track of after you apply for tags. To show you these, first we're going to log into our account. The first thing to be aware of on your account is your auto renewal preferences. On the left hand side of your account page, you will see a section for auto renewals. If you opt in to have your license auto renewed at the time you purchased, that will automatically be checked to yes for auto renew. This shouldn't be a surprise to you as we will send you a reminder email about your auto renewal uh, 30, 15, 7, and 1 days before your license renews automatically. However, you can change this preference at any point in time. It's important to make sure that you're aware of your auto renew preferences so that you aren't surprised by a credit card charge. Changing the preference is very easy. If you want to be opted out, simply click no and your changes will be saved. If you want to be opted in, simply click yes and the changes will be saved. Your preference is entirely up to you. The other thing to be made aware of when applying for tags or after applying for tags are your payment methods. Similar to other e-commerce sites, we allow you to store multiple credit or debit cards on your account. However, it's important to note that the card that will be charged for your tags if you are successful in the drawing is whatever is set as your default payment method, not necessarily the card that you use to apply for tags this year. So for example, if you had an old card last year that you applied for tags with and you applied with a new credit card this year, you need to make sure that that new credit card is set as your default payment method. To do this, you can simply drop down the arrow here and set this card as your default. You can then delete your other cards if you wish. Please note that you cannot delete your default payment method. We have to have some sort of default payment method on your record to charge for tags in the event that you draw a tag. If you would like to add a new card, simply click Add New Card and put in your payment information. Once you've added a new card, you can set that new card as your default card. That will be the card that is charged in the event that you draw tax. And that's it. We just wanted to make you aware of these two account features so that there's no confusion when you draw a tag and that your correct card is charged. Have a great day.